What's up, everybody? Uh, it's your boy Ooch. Uh, I'm here with my brother Ooch. Uh, and, uh, and we are back again. Once again, how y'all doing today? The freaking trifecta is freaking back again, guys. And your boy is hyped, so I'm gonna get these sound effects going right now for you. <laughs> Because it's been two freaking weeks, two episodes too long. Welcome back, everybody. It's your boys, Full Power Podcast Gang. Back at it again with another episode. I'm your host that sometimes predicts the most, but you know, I predict it with my family here. So, of course, we got my man, Brother Uj. Brother Uj, how you doing today? How you feeling, sir? Oh, feeling good? I was <laughs> <laughs> I got him. <laughs> feeling, feeling good? Yeah, nah, nah, we're good, we're good. Got back from the gym and everything, was hooping a bit, you know, pumping the iron. Naturally, Staying naturally. Healthy, you know. Okay, yeah, yeah we gotta know. keep that health up, but our boy Kai, listen, this is, this is, this is, this is your episode, baby, because you're, you're freaking missing out on these combos so this is this is this is a kai episode right now this is full power kai okay so what's up how you feeling today sir i'm good i i like what i saw in that chapter i like the things that have been discussed i can't say i like the direction the movie's heading in but that's okay we'll discuss that at some point yeah yeah yep no absolutely so so uh yeah so speaking of speaking of the movie and speaking of the chapter right so um, it's been a few weeks, obviously, since we uh, were able to discuss the chapter here on the Full Power Podcast, or if you catch any of the like video versions of what I got on the main channel, which, by the way, if you didn't already know, Full Power Podcast is going to be moving to its own YouTube channel, but obviously, if you're listening on Spotify, you're unaffected because, you know, you're just listening to it, but you're missing out on our, you know, very nicely lit faces and all the action and the shenanigans that goes on here you get to see brother uch's reactions to some of the shit about gohan so that's what you're missing <laughs> that's what you're missing out on the video versions but yes we're gonna be soon moving to the youtube channel so i'll leave a link to the full power podcast youtube channel in the description so that way you guys can subscribe and get alerted to whenever we finally make the official move right now there's just a playlist of all of the episodes right there um but yeah for the time being we're gonna still gonna be here on the main uchi channel um but yeah kai we uh we we had the chapter and there was some there were some things that happened so you feel free to take it away let us know your thoughts since the folks at home have been missing out completely on the kai corner of this show okay so please tell us what what what, what do you want to where do you want to go first with this so I, I figured I'd do uh, the format that we typically do on here and run it through like by the pages because I myself needed a refresher. So I went through and like reread it again today because I know it, it was funny. I was like, yeah, I remember uh, I was like, I don't know what I'm going to talk about. I remember like one or two things I wanted to bring up and then I reread the chapter. I was like, never mind. I'll be good. Ah, OK. OK. Nice. So, uh, so yeah, but not nah, going going through this, the things that stuck out to me in order because um. Uh, I said this I said this a little bit earlier but uh like Uchi and I always have like the same like the same type of reactions where we point the same things out because we we love Dragon Ball we love Dragon Ball for all the same reasons you know Pretty much yeah so um not not nothing wild I'm not going to say anything you know out of pocket but this was a <laughs> this was a brutal chapter man's got his ass beat like oh yeah like, ooh just oh my gosh i don't even know how to put it like busting his arms the eyes you know like all that that was so brutal and i was all here for it as soon as i saw that i was like oh they're getting ugly oh yo, yeah oh yeah yeah nitty so, gritty yeah nitty gritty we love to see it though so i i always like when they get like that that was one of the reasons i like black so much you know yeah. Goku black was definitely brutal like that so that was that was good to see a comeback for that in dragon ball i feel like they don't do that too often so that's cool you know what I didn't like to see is them once again turning Vegeta into a fucking breathing sensu bean. I'm tired of him giving his energy up for no fucking reason. I can't stand it. I'm so yeah. tired of them bitching him for no reason. But that's all yeah. right. We're used to it. Moving on. Uh, Goku. The quick, the quick reviews. Oh. <laughs> Goku, on the other hand, I was... I, I, I was fiending over Goku. I'm super team Goku this chapter for a million reasons. Okay. And I'm going to start with the first one. 
the first one is because, at, you know, in typical Goku fashion, the moment he recovers, this man goes hard. He goes 100%. The moment he gets up from a recovery, I'm sorry, but those first, like, couple seconds, he goes hard every Has single to. time. Yeah. Always looks clean. Mm. So that was great to see. The conversation between this man what, what was it this man not being like his father yup yup who are that, you that that threw me for a loop i was like as soon as i read that i was like i, I like i i saw the whole fpp episode i was like i don't even need to be there i was like i know exactly where this is going uh-huh <laughs> <laughs> and i listened to it and i was right i was like yup yup <laughs> so that whole thing you know they they gotta give they gotta give Bardock Super Saiyan for it. Stop playing. Stop I'm playing. Stop I'm playing. saying. I'm saying. I'm saying. That whole thing. You don't have your father's fierce resolve. You can't understand who you. Like what did he are. do? You know what I'm saying? Like what did he do? Right. What did he do? Like they gotta they gotta get there. They gotta get there. You know you know what else I like to see from Goku? Another another reason I'm absolute Goku fanboy. This chapter is because I saw him go livid. He was mad. Veins popping out his head, and he was just like. He's like, nah, I'm not yes. gonna hate. It's all good. And I was like, oh, he's oh. I was like, silver. <laughs> See, he. I was. He, I was ready. I was ready there. for him to just whoop out the form. Just yeah, they're saving rip. it. Of course. Yeah. They always save it. But yeah, that's this is this is all good stuff. It's like you said, they clearly been watching Spider Man. They got trains in this for no reason. I'm saying, dude, like <laughs> they both were probably in the same theater together, sitting next to each other, sharing some fucking popcorn. Toyotaro and Toriyama is who I'm referencing right but that's, now. But that's the thing, though, is like <sighs> that makes you wonder when was this written? Because for us, that movie came out not long ago. Uh, yeah. So so No Way Home came out in December. Now, I'm pretty sure that it may have also came out overseas some parts in the world do i feel like get it simultaneously i don't know so don't like quote me i guess but um sometimes it's not that far off like sometimes for, for a marvel movie i would imagine it would be pretty much around the on the release time with north america but but yeah no nah, they, they had to have seen it they love spider-man over there He's like one yeah, of the favorite, oh, of one course. of the one of Japan's favorite heroes that they pretend they they fucking did sometimes. <laughs> That's funny, but yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Gas Gas is a very unique, uh, a unique villain with all these constructive powers, just making weapons and hurtling trains. Because why why hit someone when you could just throw a fucking truck at them? You know. That's like, what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Forget punching. <laughs> goku yeah. uh oh oh you know what uh one thing that stuck out to me is you mentioned like yeah goku like goku was like being held up like he had his neck grabbed and everything man's was in like some type of chokehold that he just yeeted his opponent off i was like that's, yeah okay that's goku privilege right there i was like how did he do that <laughs> <laughs> that's a plot armor right there but that's okay it's goku he is a plot armor so it's fine he's the yeah. plot armor yep He's the embodiment so, of plot armor that exactly. other anime characters have definitely taken after him and people want to forget that because you know yeah he's mr yeah. plot armor yeah so but yeah that that thing that thing with the him not having his father's fierce resolve like mm, i don't know we already talked about the primal shit over and over again i don't gotta i don't gotta go into it it's just it adds up more and more so i'm just the closer we get to the answer the angrier i get because i know it's not going to be the right one mm, the the typical <clears throat> dragon ball tropes right ah uh, so i'm worst. i'm actually getting frustrated because i'm like man they there's only one thing they can do and if they don't do it i'm gonna be mad yeah yeah i i i'm with you on that for sure because a part of me you know, I mean, I see how it could go. Right. Obviously, all of right. us do. <laughs> and like, if it went that way, it would be the greatest, one of the greatest things ever, right? And naturally, you know, some this is this is almost like a recipe for how to upset your fans, how to like, oh my god, not even just upset us, but like how to basically lead us on to feeling like how to all blue ball things, your fans right blue balling perfect because that's how it goes man like 
they they are really out here planting seeds having all these things connect things are starting to make sense when you when you tie in everything else and then the next thing you know i feel like this is also all perfect for them to just give us some kind of whack resolution out of it which is obviously what we don't want but but it's dragon go. ball yeah so. exactly that's that's the problem yeah but whatever so moving on from that I think the obviously you know that that's the direction they got to take they got to go the super saiyan 4 route if they don't whatever so um oh the the thing the thing that gas did where he uh he trapped goku in that little whirlpool and he was just holding him up like outside like dry as fuck OD. people were, yeah you you guys are talking about that's od i was like that's not od that's frieza damn frieza <laughs> frieza did that same shit <sighs> wow okay you think frieza, like, the frieza like kicked the shit out of goku and he like put him at the bottom of the pool i'm talking like pre super saiyan i'm talking kaioken versus final form he like oh. kicked him at the bottom of the water and then he just like split the sea and then just started like beating <sighs> on his down body i remember that damn see i don't remember that mm -hmm. I, oh I yeah Oh, I have he to even, watch that shit. Frieza even started drowning Goku because, like, he kicked Goku in the water and Goku was, like, you know, struggling. So he swam back up. He didn't fly back up. He swam back up to the top and then Frieza just put his foot on him and just kept his head underwater yeah. until he stopped breathing. I look you remember that. That was That's the other crazy. one. So he tried to drown Goku twice. That's naughty. So, yeah, this is, uh, this is nothing we haven't seen before. It's just, you know, we got trains now, so that's cool. Spider-Man, shout out. Spider-Man. Um. Oh, what else? There was there were so many things about this chapter that I liked. Oh, okay, okay. Goku grabbing gas and just instant transmission the fuck out of there. I was like, yes, where is he going? And I was ready. <laughs> I was ready for the instant transmission race off because that's where I figured that's that's where they were going to take this. And that's pretty much what's happening. They're just playing. What is it? They're just I, I don't even know. They're playing fucking hide and seek with instant transmission like this. Instant is transmission whack-a-mole or some shit. <laughs> they're over here, they're over there. They're playing freeze tag. Instant transmission. Freeze tag. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I um. I really like that and I like it for two reasons. One, because it shows that instant transmission is one again is once again one of those things that you can't just wish for. So far. So well, far. Seem seemingly, seemingly. Right? So far. Yeah. He's able like he's able to do it, but Goku calls him out. Like, dude, I've been using this move for years. I've seen uh, you use it with your sloppy ass. I've seen Granola use it with his sloppy ass. You guys can't do it like I can do it. Yeah, right. Like, there's a he, fine line between being the strongest in the universe and having mastery over techniques and whatnot. Exactly. Yeah. So I feel mm -hmm. like that's I feel like that's the thing they're gonna take, especially you know like Ultra Instinct, like mastered ultra instinct like okay you you could have wished to be the master of all styles but instead you wish to be the strongest well instant transmission has nothing to do with strength so you ain't got shit on me mm. so that's pretty much you know i feel like that's what goku's trying to say with with that move and you know now they're like racing back and forth going to different places yeah. so that's okay. cool i'm re i'm ready to see where they go see if they hit vampa or not that'd be funny but um Man. Man. I wanted to I wanted to slide something in there because we're talking about instant transmission and we're talking about how you can't just wish for power because you know y you have to get used to it your body has to get used to it you know there's you you have to improve the technique itself even if you're strong enough you have to improve right. the technique not just your own body so all these different reasons and that just you know I mean you know who I rep so I'm going to have to bring this up gas can't use gas can't use instant transmission like goku can but he wished to be the strongest in the universe after someone else wished to be the strongest in the universe and goku could still do this move better but you know who did it better than goku without even trying goku black i knew it <laughs> i knew he was gonna say that shit <sighs> that man still 
holds W's even in today's like chapters and actually moments like this instant transmission actually, right? That man literally cut off other people's use of instant transmission and he was able to refire it faster than everyone every single time without fail. That's dirty. Yeah. It's true. I mean, but then again, you know, your your boy had an advantage. He had a he was in a Goku body. Yeah, he had Goku privilege. Good. That's all it takes. That's shit. Like he was he 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 got that a new color for freaking he, he was like, I'm not going Super Saiyan blue. I'm going Super Saiyan Rose. Right, he came up with his own shit for no own reason. Shit, like, man. Forget being the strongest in the universe. Just give me Goku's body. That's stronger. <laughs> that shit that shit's been through some shit. Oh yeah, exactly. I want the experience. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, that was uh I don't know, that that made me think about it because I was like, man, that's that's one villain that hit that shit right. <laughs> Facts. Yeah. So yeah, that that was a super solid chapter, uh, except for the Vegeta issue. So about the Vegeta issue, really quick, because I like like you heard, I said I said and felt the same shit. Yep. I'm tired of seeing it. I'm definitely tired of having seeing Vegeta be a part of that. You know, whole let me give you the last of my type Vegeta shit. Getting benched. Yeah, and and but and even though. There's some sense behind it. It don't mean I fucking like it. And it don't mean I want to see it. Okay, because, you know, the people that defend that, right, that have been in the comments, they say, they, 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 I'm paraphrasing. I'm, I don't have any of their comments in front of me right now, but the consensus though, from those that, that are on that type of side of the conversation are always going to say some shit like, well, Vegeta was down and out and he didn't get healed goku did goku was refreshed and he would have been no help anyway in his beaten up state so might as well provide an even more of a boost to fucking help goku out be the guy to you know be the guy again for the hundredth millionth time and whatnot <laughs> and so forth right and i'm like okay sure does it make sense sure have we seen this a million times? Yes. Are we sick of it? Yes. Like, yeah. we've been around for so many fucking years. When I say we, I mean like the show, the series. We have, we now, the three of us, okay, have lived through all this shit to the point where it's like, okay, yeah, enough's enough. You know what I'm saying? Like, absolutely. <sighs> so, I'm I'm with you, still. Even even if I for 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 uh for the conversation's sake, you know, bringing out both sides of it. But fuck the other side, okay? Because we're still we're not unless unless some crazy shit happens and Vegeta or somebody that's that's standing by goes into their pocket and they're like, oh, what's this green bean? And he fucking takes that shit and and goes right back into the fight then it's just like i'd ra honestly at this point i'd rather than do some shit like that damn i don't even know if it makes sense for him to be fighting though low key just because of the whole fucking bardock situation because they want to use goku you know what i mean so you so you think that if vegeta were to get involved that would take away time or moments that would relate back to the bardock stuff probably hmm. <laughs> damned if we do damned if we don't bro vegeta just can't get a fucking buy ever ever nope no matter how you slice it like that's sh that sucks well in any case is there is there was there anything else uh, since you had, since you've been, since you've been gone. No, let me not do oh that. My God. <laughs> <laughs> has, has there been anything else? Because since then, after that chapter came out, trailer number four for the movie came out too, which okay. I'm sure you saw. It was okay. It was okay. It was okay. It was just okay. Yes, it was just okay. I saw your reaction. I watched it with your reaction. So. 
<laughs> that was the first time I saw it. My guy. <laughs> Wait a minute, Brandon. Did you did you watch it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you made me. The trailer? The trailer. Yeah. Wait, when did I show it to you? <laughs> I don't even remember showing it to you now. <laughs> no, I think we were on Discord or some shit. You didn't show it to I I you made me look it up. So wait a minute, wait, wait. So shit. so what happened? I wanna make sure we're we're we're, we're talking about the same thing. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I can't go picture for picture. It was a shit. minute long. You don't remember what happened in the trailer. I mean, that's not crazy. Okay, okay. See, this is why. For me why. to remember. See, because I feel it. like I, I don't know if I, uh, I don't, I, I really don't think it was that, that I showed it to you, because I, I yeah, I just the don't. One I, where it's like I don't even know. Yeah. Basically, okay. In this, in this trailer. What happens is they, they they basically give us more of what I have been saying that's gonna happen. L literally, like straight up. Like like remember, remember when I said remember when I said that it was either gonna be Piccolo and or Pan or both. You're gonna get abducted. Okay, so Pan Pan gets stolen, right? And I'm like, bruh, it's happening. Straight up. We already uh, wrote the plot. I, I want my royalties. I'm, I'm fucking getting tired of this. I want, I want my royalties. <laughs> I want my fucking... I want my checks, son. Okay? Literally. But... See... Oh, man. See, now I'm almost... Inclined to freaking... Have this man... Because I don't know if he saw it or not. And that's important because... You know what? I don't... You know, here's the thing. I don't think I did... I don't think I did show it to you because I, for, for some reason, a part of me wanted to get you to, um, to, 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 to watch it. Like to, I was going to make like a separate reaction video with you in it, like in this format. So that yeah. way you could have, so that way the people could have seen your reaction to it. But here, just, I sent, I sent the link. It's literally, you could skip to the actual trailer part. Well, actually that's my reaction that I linked to you. Cause that was the what was immediately in front of me. Like um, six minutes. Yeah, no, no. You don't have to watch the whole six minute thing. Just skip to where I start watching the trailer, and that's all you need to watch. Okay. And I'll eat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, this is important. This is only gonna. This is necessary. Uh, I was like, oh. This is the go on, go on, Super Saiyan. Okay. Look at this motherfucker. Take them motherfucking glasses off, man. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, nice pan. Right. Yeah, see, he didn't watch it. I, I knew it. She's in a palace? Hmm. <laughs> what the fuck is that thing at the end? Okay. Okay, so now that you've seen it. So, okay, so I'm guessing your giggle was for Piccolo. Nah, it was when Gohan powered up and shit. Okay. Oh, so you know, no hype for Piccolo? My man went ultimate. Shit. <laughs> I mean. It's tough to be a Namekian nowadays, huh? Ain't no one, you get a new form, no one cares. What the? This ain't the fucking, the, the Frieza saga no more. <laughs> <sighs> man. You hear this shit, Kai, it, it was hype. It was hype back then. I can't say it. Him going into that form is the same. This is brand new. What you mean? What do you mean brand P new? Piccolo never did that before. You ever fucking... Come on, my man is a goddamn plata platanito right now. He went from green banana to yellow. No. He's no. never had a yellow power up, bro. Never. This is the first time. Brand new. We'll see what it does. <laughs> we'll see what it... We'll see how powerful that bitch is. Well...
I mean, I'm guessing it's only as powerful enough as it needs to be to retrain Gohan to reach Super Saiyan 2 again. So that That's shows how strong crazy. that is. Oh man, the fucking That's shit right crazy. now. Uh, well, either way, the, what, to answer your other question, what's that shit at the end? Oh, that cell. Don't you know? No. Nah. Well, Wait, what? You? Nah. <laughs> Imagine? That's, nah, that's stop. Weird. Stop. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, boys. Stop. Why wouldn't it be? Think about it. Think about it. Why wouldn't it be? They're freaking the whole trailer is about everybody else. You see Gohan, you see Broly, you see Beerus, Whis even, which though I'm telling you that two seconds made me a whole video that I did on my channel. So go check that shit out, right? Because people have been also, now it's not just me, just talking about it. Like, oh, it really does seem like they're fighting in this, in this film. Hold up. I got something to say about that. Oh, I ahead. saw that video and I completely agree with everything that was said and all the people that are saying it like it makes it makes perfect sense. But you know what? We said it first. We deserve our fucking royalties. This is exactly what we called in the first place. Number one. And number two, I don't want to see it because I don't care how much sense it makes. It makes Beerus look like a bitch if he needs Goku and Vegeta to hold down Broly. Okay, but wait a minute. Well, wait, wait, I got you. I got you because here's the <laughs> thing. Here's the thing, right? Because this, if, if, okay, if it comes down to Beerus not being able to reprimand my man Broly. That says a lot. First of all, first of all, I don't want, I don't care about this, oh, Broly versus Jiren. Fuck Jiren, cause cause if cause if cause if they need a god of destruction plus Goku plus Vegeta to distract, well not even the, that's the whole distraction. They gotta stay that's there to fucking hold Broly back so that Gohan and Piccolo could be the main characters in that shit. I'm telling you guys right now, this guy Broly, um, has always had the potential to be the best character, period. Because if he yo. Just, I didn't, yo, and this is, I'm so glad you're back. I'm so fucking glad you're back <laughs> because you brought something up that I did not talk about yet. And it is that the fact that if Beerus can't handle it, then, then Broly is that, that he's, he's that guy. He's that much of being the shit. Period. And you know what? It would perfectly tie in to all that crazy primal fierce battle instinct that goku does not have so it's good it could turn into goku trying to train broly to control his power to realistically goku training himself or even broly teaching goku how to unleash that power but nah that's too that's too good of a direction for them to take that's our royalties fuck yeah give me my fucking money i want my <laughs> fucking money son <laughs> I literally, we all, I split it with y'all three. I y'all two. <laughs> Shit. This is crazy. This is literally crazy. I'll be damned. Listen, I'm matter, matter of fact, I'll go straight to the freak. I'll just go straight to the damn. I'll go straight to Geekdom himself. I'll literally be like, if you make a video about the shit that I've been talking about with my boys for years at this point, I want 70% of the fucking money you make off your damn videos because you know man is gonna get hell of views. <laughs> and I love Geekdom, all love. This is not bullshit. This is not me shitting talk and, and, and calling him out because that's that he's a friend of mine, okay? We talk outside of all this Dragon Ball bullshit, okay? He visits me on my streams, we talk about other things. Okay, we both agree on how crazy Japan is and backwards they are with a lot of this shit. Okay, but I swear, I'm telling you, he's already done it. He's already, anything that man will make Dragon Ball related, he's, that's how he's able to afford his house. Okay, put it that way. I'm telling you, I'm gonna be like, bro, I want 70% cut, please. Just, it's not fair. It's not fair. We, we, we've been talking about this shit forever now. And we, and, and like you said, 
we, we, we don't we have no ties to nothing. We just out here guessing shit. Facts. Not even get no no no. We can't say no, guessing. It's not guessing. It's not guessing, bro. You, you, that's the wrong word. We have Logical. literally it's fucking logic. We're applying logic. We're literally we're we're taking what they have given us and we're just solving the problem. It's like 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 fucking math problems. They're Dragon Ball problems. I'm just sick because all they've been doing is ruining this shit. Like yo, the other thing that you said that makes perfect sense, like. And, I, and someone said a version of this on one of the comments that if Goku was trying to train Broly with the gods so that Broly can get a better sense of how to control his power so that Goku can inadvertently also learn how to tap into some other shit that he doesn't realize he has as well. Like if it's on that kind of stuff, then there you go. Like, there, dude, Broly is going to be the reason why they go Super Saiyan 4. Three. Like, that could be a whole arc. Yes. But it won't. <sighs> <laughs> shit sucks, man. That would just take a lot of time. So? They got they got time. You kidding me? Fucking One Piece hasn't stopped. Okay, uh, it's gonna take a uh, lot no, of time. You, no. you telling me? You telling me that a... That a Goku, Vegeta, and Broly training for some Super Saiyan 4 type shit on Beerus's planet is not arc worthy. That's arc worthy oh, no, like, as fuck. It, it, it could be like a good 12 to 24 episodes if they want to really extend that shit. But like these motherfuckers can't get lazy. Like well, and that, that's that. what I, that, that's what that's what I mean by it taking long because. These motherfuckers, when they take breaks, they take breaks. <laughs> they don't take <laughs> they don't breaks, take, they take vacations. They take vacations. They go see Spider-Man. Like, years. Hibernation. Right. And what so, we, I mean, we, I'm not with that shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, uh, when it comes to these arcs, like, it better be worthwhile, even though that... That would be very informational and shit, and it See, would probably add to too. the spice. But I wouldn't want it to like. I don't know. I'm I'm weird about it. I guess just because like I know how these motherfuckers are, and when they go on their breaks, I'm not seeing this shit for fucking five, ten years. Yeah, I feel that way too. But I feel like, you know, if like I want them to make the interesting, you know, good stuff to keep us just what's the word just keep us you know entertained i guess but like this and engaged movie is engaged yeah this this movie is not it for me and you know what i saw i saw that i saw the the panel of like the just like the cast for the movie i guess you know like broly and goku and oh like yeah everyone whatever and i saw i saw some things i liked and some things i didn't like and i thought it was funny that you know chi <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, Brandon, did you? Oh, I don't know if I showed you that too. That's uh, the picture. The long, the long picture. Did I show you that one? Okay, I did. Okay. So yeah, she uh, she she locked it down. Had to. She <laughs> had to. That's another we knew video that, I made. We already. knew that the first the first time she looked at Broly, we knew. Like she was like, oh, okay. Now in my defense, okay. Nah. No, wait, 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 wait. wait. In my defense. I I didn't immediately assume that Chilai was going to end up being like that kind of person for Broly. My nigga, she was going thirsty. Forward. Listen, listen, I know Broly is tall, dark, and handsome. Okay. <laughs> That's, he's literally Tarzan for her. <laughs> Yo, she really is Jane, Loki. <laughs> okay, but nah. I, I, look, I didn't want to make that assumption because I was like, yo. Like, ooh. like, to You're me. You about the green bitch? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you see, I didn't even see her in the picture. You're not gonna Bro, care. she was thirsty the whole movie for Broly. Nah, I see. I didn't. I didn't take that as her being thirsty. I just. Oh, I, I, I know who y'all talking about now. Yeah, yeah. Tell me yeah. she wasn't see, I, thirsty. See, I thought she was just a pawn, so I didn't really bother much attention <laughs> <laughs> not good, good. <laughs> i mean she is but you know brother was being brother Uch, you know but now wait hold on no, no, no. she wasn't a pawn okay it's because Bruh. of her this it's because of her broly survived let's not forget this 
okay? Gogeta would have killed Mans. Let's not forget that. We talked about that shit, I feel like we did last week, I think, or you the see, week before. But th this is where chess comes into play, because, you know. Oh, here we you go. Gotta, you gotta set your fucking. your board around your king, and Broly's the fucking king. Oh, I love hearing that. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. You, you like that? You like oh, that? I love shit. that. All right, fuck it. It's all it's <laughs> oh, my God. But, okay. But yeah. back to what I was saying. Listen. Li listen. I did not assume immediately that Chilai had, like, you know, feelings or she was, like, you know, into Broly like that. Bro, it was I there. I mean, she was. I mean, everyone was looking at this man out of fear for the most part, right? Nah, I, I don't know, bro. In her eyes, it definitely hit different. You can see it wasn't like a oh my god, what is that beast? It was like oh my god, I'm wet. Nah, <laughs> she was no, no, no. She to me, what it was almost like she was like, uh, what's the word startled. <laughs> Kind of like she was like taken back as to how much of a behemoth this dude was, but then she like got to know him and she right. she learned about him and how troublesome his past was. So she she took on more of like a caring role. I don't want to say like motherly or sisterly either because I'm not that's weird, okay? But she just took on like a caring friend kind of role that she then started to defend him and clearly saved his life at the end by the end of the movie so this shit now with the picture that's teasing a child okay i i mean listen i like like i made that video and i said it in the video i was like i was like i mean damn like that's fast yeah <laughs> you know like it's only been like not that much time like not that much time has passed since the broly film i mean like yeah like it's been like two arcs like freaking uh yeah but i mean technically speaking it's been i mean where the film takes place it's been years at least yeah you're right yeah that, that's what i'm saying that's that's literally what i'm saying because like if you take that into consideration too then yes like broly within that time was probably learning a lot about just how shit goes and then who's to say who's to say they freaking they went over there to visit him in between then to you know bring his ass to beerus or whoever else to introduce to that you know because you know how they are they're like all like a big ass family they have picnics and fucking barbecues together and all that shit so you know and like and i like i mean look especially if it's it's if it's her broly and limo living on vampa together at some point like chilai is either gonna be the one to make the move or broly is just gonna get that sense like damn i haven't seen a a, a a character with curves and oh like i'm not gonna get oh into it because God. this is not that kind of fucking podcast okay but <laughs> the point is is that and this is a, this is a kind of a light-hearted funny funny point okay to this very day, I truly believe that Goku doesn't even know how his kids came to be. Facts. Okay? And that's a thing. I feel like Vegeta, that's a different story. I feel like he was definitely all in. All right? He was there, conscious. He knew what he the knew. fuck he was doing. Okay? This nigga had intention. Inten exactly. He had intentional kids. I feel like there might be some Saiyans, like Goku and Broly, who are not as brought up to speed on certain things okay and for that reason and that reason alone i truly feel like these things these things happen to these saiyans they just don't understand how reproduction works they have a little fun something feels kind of good or whatever and then next thing you know they're just like oh how did this happen like oh i have a kid oh cool what are we gonna call him you know or her whatever and that's how it goes. A lot of people, though, on the other side of the fence, they just think that's a sack of food. Now, I don't think it's a sack of food because, in my opinion, that's a really weird and oddly shaped sack. Like, that's the kind of... Like, I don't even look, that, I look at that shit as a sack. I look at that as, like, 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 something that you keep a baby in warm. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, it's to, like, protect it. You know, complete from head to toe. And you're not going to see it because it's not. It's facing her. The reason why I don't think it's food is because if it was, like, a fucking bag of food, you, I feel like the bag would have been open at the top. And you would have seen some food. That's just me. You know what? I don't think Broly's kid will have a Saiyan name. It's gonna be his, his name's gonna be called Bruce. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, no, Brandon, it's Hulk. It's Hulk. Yeah. Come on. Whatever, man. You're such a fucking Hulk fan, you don't know his real name. Bruce. <laughs> this man said Batman. <laughs> 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 yeah. So there it is. My man's gonna ha literally give birth to the Hulk. Oh my god. You better not be no bitch. <laughs> right. <laughs> but you know what though? Uh, going back to the going back to the potential like Super Saiyan 4 thing with the reason that everyone's stuck on Beerus's planet at the moment. You know what that kind of tells us? Mm. It kind of tells us that Goku's not going to get anything in this in this manga arc right now. Because if he's if it's years later and he could still be, you know, like training with Broly or to stop Broly or whatever. And he still hasn't unlocked this fierceness. And it's been years. Bruh. Hey, I mean, here. Okay, now I'll, I'll put it to you like this then. If it is so, it, 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 is what you're saying, like, it's going to take him years to truly master, master the Ultra Instinct? No, I'm saying that if... If what Gas is telling us about a fiercer, you know, primal instinct type of thing that Goku does not currently have at all, that we think Broly does, if Goku is going to try to, you know, learn that, he still hasn't done it by the time this movie has taken place and this movie takes place after what we're looking at right now. And that's what saddens me. Okay, so... You did the thing again where you say something and then oh, no. a whole, a whole, like, a whole <laughs> scenario just, just births, okay? And I'm watching our time here, all right? We were going to get into some, some comments, but we might have to save that for next week. But, because here we go. What you just said. If he, if, if this, if this other power or this idea of another power or that something that goku does not have that his father did way back and we never saw that shit listen man this might this this is definitely gonna sound like a stretch but this is the thing that that came to mind okay because if we're to believe that super saiyan 4 or primal instinct if that's what they're gonna end up calling it because it is it is their inner power their source of their being, right? That is brought out in such a way that is so fucking strong that it defeats the likes of characters like Gas. And apparently, if he's looking at Goku and he's like, bruh, where's it at? Or something like, like theoretically, like hypothetically, like that's how he's looking at him like that. Then that kind of leads me to want to believe that if this primal instinct is truly formulated and brought out, I feel like this power could be written as a stronger power than Ultra Instinct. Which, yeah, I agree. which would be crazy because it's just like, oh, what do you mean? How could that be possible? This is a technique that comes from the gods. Well, what if the true source of said power of this primal instinct dates way back to our good old boy yamoshi that they fucking never have done anything with and you know dragon ball sometimes likes to do that thing where they tell us some some part of a truth but not the whole truth okay because if, if we're to believe you know how with, with how how like yamoshi was like the first like like super saiyan god or legendary super saiyan god or whatever the fuck they want to tell us what if the truth was no it was he was so on that godly level 
that we all assumed like oh yeah this is it right here goku with the red hair yes super saiyan god oh my god but notice how even that wasn't really enough to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with beerus now if you watch the movie version then yeah it was just like he took an l he lost you watch the anime version they almost broke the fucking universe in space when they were fighting or whatever right yeah but either way it's almost you know because that's the thing it's like Dragon Ball has had a, 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 a pattern where anytime a new form is introduced, it almost seems like it's always been incomplete. Super Saiyan, then it's Super Saiyan 2. Even before that, they had the grades where it was like grade 1, grade 2, grade 3, grade 4. And I'm like, what the fuck? That's, I didn't really pay attention to that, but that's a thing. Then they had the Super Saiyan 2. Then there was Super Saiyan 3. And then by that time, Super Saiyan was pretty much, you could say it was mastered. You know, Goku was used to using it, Vegeta was used to using it, where it didn't really bother them, didn't strain them, right? And that's the thing, like, the, the, these power-ups have caused a level of strain to these characters. Super Saiyan 3 being the one that has caused the most, and that's why you don't really see it all that much. And then they go on to finding other sources of power. Then they then they start involving their the god key, right? But dude, what if this god key really ain't all that after all? And at the end of the day, the mora the moral of the story is that it's always what you got within yourself, your own natural power and ability, because. When you got a guy like Broly, who is so strong that he can't even control his own strength, and he just gets stronger the more he fights, right? <laughs> Every single time. And if it comes down to the point where Beerus can't handle him, I really do believe that this primal instinct, this inner fucking instinct of theirs that is of the Ozaru essence, that shit might actually be the... That might be it right there. Was he actually struggling? No, 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 no. So in the trailer... So that's... The, the, the struggling part is something that we're theorizing. But what... Uh, okay. Yeah, but the tease is that Broly... Because basically why this whole conversation it came to be, Brandon, is in the trailer when you... It's literally... It's mad quick. It's like for two seconds. You see Broly's face. You see Beerus' face. But then you see Whis going like this. It looks like he's about to count them off and Hajime, boom, and fight. You know what I'm saying? That's why everyone's like, oh my God, Broly versus Beerus. It's happening. Ding, ding, ding. Like, get it on pay per view type shit. I feel like, I feel like, bro, or I feel like Beerus is gonna like toy with him low key. Like, like, mm. but, but, but he might, like, he might toy with him, like, or, like in the beginning, like, real quick, but then be caught off guard because. Like, nigga Broly is actually strong as fuck. But then he's gonna <laughs> he said... take it. He, he, he's gonna be. He's gonna take it up a notch, and then that's that's where I think he's gonna end shit with Broly. Like he's just gonna like really put him in his fucking place, type shit. Cause he's a, nigga's a god of destruction. Well, right. But that's that's the problem with that though. Is I I think that's how it should go down, but. If that's how it does go down, that doesn't give Goku and Vegeta a reason to stay there. The theory was that they're staying there because they're busy with Broly. If Broly just gets neck chopped to sleep, then what? Then they can yeah. go back and help Gohan at any time. Right. Mm. So it's almost as if like we kind of figured out that, hey, guess what? They cornered themselves again. Well, it, it really just depends on, well, we need, we just need more information as far as like what the purpose of Beerus and Broly fighting is for type of thing. Training. Like, just yeah, yeah, I, sparring, sparring, yeah. I, I understand that, but then that means Beerus can't do no neck chop shit unless he's trying to just make him pass out or something like that. You know, you know what, what would, mean? you know, what would be absolutely amazing is if in this movie we find out that, you know, this is just another day of training this is not broly's first time on the planet that's what i would like <sighs> to hear because if Too i hear that then i know we have some good chapters coming our way but if not if it's his first time there and he got a whole kid it's been years i'm gonna be upset
<laughs> yeah, but the, the one thing the one thing that be bothering me though about the, the whole primal shit is just, just like if if bardock actually attained that while fighting gas then like how the fuck he, he get mopped by frieza that's well no that's the one thing i always have yeah. well with. we we had an idea the only idea that would make sense to us at least was that the moment he came back from beating gas's ass is when Frieza blew everything up and Mans was already exhausted. True. I guess. But that that's only if that was the case. Exactly. Not, that's the only if, thing we like, have. But Dragon Ball's not logical. Or Bardock never died. Stop. Or Bardock never died. But... Yo, people... Bardock never died, fuck? people. The Cells in the trailer, land? people. All y'all gotta stop. Where the fuck oh, did he Okay, land? so we got 10 minutes. Cell. Stop! Stop! stop. That's, he is no. in that motherfucking chamber. No, he's not. Yes, he is. No, he he's is the not. fucking experiment. No. Yo, yo, you gonna t hey, 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 hey? No. You gonna tell me two android characters? Two. Stop. Two android characters. Android 18's there. Bro. By accident, she's in the wrong place at the wrong time. You gotta tell me there's not gonna be a fucking cell at the end as the as the big su surprise mystery bad. You're wildin'. Come on, you you Bro, know how this, this goes. Logically, it is cell. It could it might not be the same one, but that is cell. I mean, I don't know what that shit was at the end. It was like some big ass little ball type shit. But I something thought it was, was in there. I thought it was just going to be like it some could type be of somebody's fucking... in there. I don't know. I mean, if he's in it? there, if it's if it's another Android, whatever, like, OK, whatever. But if it's cell, that's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> but dude, it is everything that we've been talking about for months ever since. And I've said this. Y'all can go back. Listeners, viewers, you can go back to the episodes that we discussed as soon as they put out the trailer showing Gohan, or I think it was a trailer or images showing Gohan for the first time being like, oh, the idea that he actually might be the main character and the focus of this whole movie. When he showed, when they showed him in the original purple gi with the teen Gohan haircut from that Cell Saga. Ever since then is when I'm, I literally started dropping the hints and the seeds be like, yo, if they're doing that, motherfucking Cell might come back too. I I swear. I've been I saying refuse, this shit ever since. I refuse to accept a second Cell before we get cooler. Y'all got me fucked up. Listen, hey, I would love, yo, yo, you know I well, would love cooler. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, I Brent. feel like, I well, man. Right. Whenever, whenever, whenever Frieza comes back, I feel like they can introduce that. That's what I'm waiting what? for. Oh my because God. it wouldn't make sense for him to be in this movie, honestly. Definitely not. It doesn't. Like, and Cell, on the other hand, like, all I'm saying is if he's coming back, I want to know how strong he's going to be. <laughs> I want to know if he's going to be a one and done. And I want to know if what the, what was, what was going to happen with Gohan. Because... This, no, this nigga hasn't been training. I mean... And he, if he has, it's not for a long time. <laughs> and he better not be stronger than Cell. Like, well, that makes no sense. I feel like... So he's gonna have to gain a new power that we don't know about. Within man, this movie. Because I like Super Saiyan 2 ain't gonna be enough. Ultimate ain't no instinct. The only, Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> the only type of Cell I would personally accept is if they were like... Yeah, we we secretly had another supercomputer still collecting data even after Cell died. Blah blah blah. Now mm. here's fucking Super Cell. That's what gonna. That's what they're gonna call this man, oh. Super Cell, right? And oh. they're gonna have him in the pod, whatever, trying to release him. And then Gohan's gonna get like fucking super triggered and then transform back in because he's gonna have Cell flashbacks and not let that happen. Like he blundered with Majin Buu's little orb. Except this time, you know, he actually made it and Cell doesn't. The supercell doesn't get released. Well, I'm said, not trying said, to have him released. <laughs> I said some shit like last podcast or some shit about about this whole cell thing because like with the with the whole data thing that you were just mentioning, it's like it's like I feel like because Dr. Jiro's dead. So like 
I said this last time. I said somebody like if this nigga's gonna come back in this type of way, then somebody had to like mirror Dr. Jero or something like that, and has been away all this time, collecting data, doing whatever the fuck, scientists doing shit, trial and error, bullshit, all that. You know what I mean? So like, I don't know. But if if <coughs> if Dr. Jero's name is not mentioned throughout this whole movie, then I feel like that's just debunked. Oh, oh no, he, it has nah. to be. He's it gonna be, to be fucking. There's no way they're not he's gonna, gonna be mention name him. dropped. There's a hundred percent. I can tell. A hundred percent is gonna be at least mentioned. It's a requirement. There's it's no gonna be. Way. It's gonna be in the first line. Doctor <laughs> Shit, nah, cause like if he's not, if if Cell's not coming back by Dragon Balls, then it's like they they're recreating him with exactly. the, yeah, the exactly. previous cell the, with the previous cells that. Through all the years, data's been collected or whatever, and they've been waiting for this yep. one moment. Like, it's not like we haven't seen that shit happen either. Like, like they they were they were making these goon androids for Bro, this moment. Like, think about it this way, okay? I, I just want to, okay, I want I want to paint a picture for you guys really quick, okay? Popular characters in Dragon Ball, yeah, always yeah. come back, one way or another, okay? I'll give you some. Here, 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 here's, here, here's a couple easy ones. Ready? Frieza. Cooler. How the? Wait, what? Cooler was popular. Just, you don't know why? Just because he got a second How movie. Have? How many movies he have? Just because he got a second movie. But hey, if the character, if if no one cared, they wouldn't have done it. Whatever. Why did they do? How many? How many Broly films? Wait, but cool is not can. Cool is not canon. I, but okay, but the, the, my point is. But popular I mean, his characters, are real popular characters. But cool is not real. He's, He's not can. Not yet, bro. Broly wasn't either. And look, what, see, look he, where we're he, at. If they never make him canon, that's kind of sad. That's what I'm saying, though. Cooler in line before Cell. Get the fuck out of here with this Android shit. But dude, but dude, but that's look. If if the theme was different, if there was other things that was going on, if if there was a, if there was like a. Like, let's say if they decided to do, like, a Fukatsu no F2, right? If they, if they decided to do another Frieza-themed movie, that's where Cooler would come into play. It I doesn't agree. make sense. It doesn't make sense right now. I, I mean, agree. That, that, that's true. But, but. I mean, uh, <laughs> like, I mean, they could, they could bring in. I don't know. It, it really depends on whether they're going to bring back regular cooler or like metal cooler. Because I fucked with the metal. I, I mean, I fucked with both movies. Not going to cap. Nah, <laughs> I, need, yeah. I need regular cooler because I want to yeah, yeah, see yeah. that form. Like he can't. Yeah, no, no, no. But yeah. they have to buff the that. fuck out of him. The same way they did with Frieza for no reason. Frieza's whole race is buffed for no reason. Well, the, the I, I know, I know what you mean. But is like he, he got buffed just because he got the golden freezer or whatever. Like, but he also but, got buffed for training for like what four months where other people had to train a, you, their whole you lives. About, you read about that. <laughs> so I mean, shit. I mean, but that if he's coming in, he 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 gotta be like either on Freezer's level or surpassed just because he's his brother or something. And let's let's not forget, let's not forget, Cooler even said like he was way stronger. He's always been stronger than Frieza. It's just that Frieza's a fucking kiss up. Frieza's Dude. daddy's little girl. Dude, listen, listen, listen to the things you guys are saying. You guys really think that if, if they bring Cooler back, or should I say when they bring Cooler back, that he's not gonna... First of all, let's just look at the... Power up. Let's look at the characters, for example. Let's look at the character... Give like, Platinum Cooler. Okay, no, no, I'm not even gonna talk about the forms, because we're gonna, we're gonna see the forms, okay? But look at Freeze as a character. You think Frieza for a fucking second would ever mention that he had a stronger sibling than him? No. Exactly. So don't worry about it because when they bring in Cooler, it's going to be when and after Frieza has grown. Frieza has been through enough fucking monkey beatings, literally, pun intended, <laughs> okay? And ever since he left that fucking movie bike, I swear, I said, yo, the next time we see this motherfucker, he's not coming alone. He's going to... Right, right. We've going... been talking about that so much. I mean, he, he can't because Goku and Vegeta are just... They, well, number one, they're just both getting stronger every time. And he knows that. Every, and he knows that. And, I mean... I mean, Yo, niggas I, been getting toyed with, bruh. I know, I know I'm wild for even thinking this, but, I mean, come on. We, we know... We've seen how... 
the most prideful characters in the whole Dragon Ball universe are able to put that aside sometimes to do a bingo dance on the Thank fucking you. stage. Thank you. So you're going to tell me that if Frieza can't get his tail between his legs to ask his brother to help him or fuse with him the way he saw or some shit. I, 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 I said all this. I literally I said all this. Thank you. I don't know about fusion now. But. That's why I said I know I'm wild for saying this because fusion is definitely a wild thought for the two of them. You're not, but I'm yo, just saying. Listen, listen you're not wild. I'm wilding. just saying we've seen we've seen wild shit before. Right, right. We 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 were fucking lied to for pretty much decades. Lied to, straight lied up. to, thinking even, that we understood fusion with the earrings. We and weren't even happened. given a half truth. We were given a straight up lie. Straight up. They just changed their rules. They retcon things too, Bryn. And yeah. I'm telling you right now, when it comes to the characters, okay, just like Kai said, there's gonna be a moment, and Frieza had his moment. He's done. He's fed up. These fucking these these saint these monkeys, literally, like he said, these monkeys, I'm tired of losing to them. Okay? I'm I'm done. We haven't seen him for a long ass time. The next time we see him, I feel like Frieza will have had done training. I feel like he would have had reconciled with his brother. And when that time fucking comes, they're going to meet again. You, mean, you know what's and crazy, man? Cooler is going to come through with him. It's kind of crazy how, like, King Cooler was in regular Dragon Ball. Like King Cold. Yeah. Yeah, King Cold. Yeah, that, that's, that's Frieza's fucking dad, right? Pop Duke's fucking got offed mad he got easy shit on. by Trunks. Yep. Yeah, so like, the home. I, <laughs> I don't understand that shit. Well, Literally. listen. Wrapping this shit up by saying this, that yeah, I totally would love to see Cooler make that debut next when it comes down to like bringing back, you know, you know, nostalgia. But I've also said this after Cell, they're not. That's it. Like that's it as far as like canonical main stories, people. Cooler is fair game. He he Dude. he's gonna, he's gonna he gonna come in, no no doubt. Just like how they brought Broly in there, man. But Frieza's after Cell, that's only, it. Frieza's the only one that should like. Frieza always makes sense to bring back because of his deep rooted ties to the Saiyan race. But Cell, come on, y'all gotta stop. But so I feel like this 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 movie is gonna play a bigger, more important role for these characters that we literally haven't seen do shit in such a long time and that's the whole purpose i mean they're calling it superhero because i feel like it's basically going to be themed around how gohan is ultimately going to try to save his daughter and pan will look up to gohan her dad most likely piccolo as well just by default as her superheroes and that's just how that's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be a nice, sweet little film with some fucking godlike shit that's gonna happen. A lot of twists and turns and surprises. Even if we're calling it, those are surprises because some of the folks that they don't think like we do, they're gonna go into that movie, they're gonna watch everything that's happening, not seeing all the fucking blueprint, like legwork and all that shit just laid out for them. And when that motherfucker comes out of that pod, Man. When the, the sirens are going off, something's going wrong. It, it's it's gonna be godlike to I see feel Cell like again. Majority of these goons don't even know what they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. I that, I generally feel like that a lot of these niggas don't know Dragon Ball, man. I got I got one of my boys at the gym. But she's stronger than Goku. Nigga, what the fuck are you talking about? Man? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga, this nigga, shout out to my mans, by the way. But <laughs> this motherfucker, man, he watches Vegeta power up every time he works out. I'm like, nigga, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> I'm like, what are you, what are you doing, man? That's. And then I caught him one day when Goku was fighting. I was like, that's 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 who you should be looking at. <laughs> because, <laughs> because I, I caught you. I was like, that's the guy. That's the guy. <laughs> that's what you mean, man. That's unbelievable. All right. Well, you, you know, you know what else about the the movie? I was I was excited for for like 
10 minutes and then I instantly stopped. I saw, I saw, you know, adult Goten and adult Trunks or fucking teen adolescent, I guess. Yeah, they're whatever. not immortal no more. Yeah, they're not immortal no more. But they certainly had quite the childhood. Holy shit. Uh huh. <laughs> but uh, I was, I saw them. Obviously, you know, their little broken fusion dance. I'm sure we're gonna see the skinny and the fat variants first. And I was, I was all here for go, adult go tanks. I've always wanted to see it. <sighs> it's never been real. It's never been done right. And I'm, I was ready for it until, until I was scrolling through Instagram. And I follow like a bunch of, you know, like art pages and shit like that. And I saw someone draw a go adult go tanks because, you know, they're getting hyped for the movie and shit. And I saw it and I looked at it and I saw go tanks with that black and blue hair. And oh. I just got so mad. Oh, yeah. I got so mad so fast. And I was like, oh. that's it. I don't want to see it. <sighs> because right? cause it's blue hair now. Right? Fuck. Exactly. Oh, I didn't even think of that, man. I didn't think of that either. Like I said, I saw someone draw it and I got I got so depressed. <sighs> well, I mean, eh, eh, eh. nope, I don't care. That really does suck because we have always been under the assumption that you know <laughs> no one's hair color would change over the course of time and everything and when the show is all about changing hair colors right we were right in yeah yeah right exactly that's the fun that's the irony of that right but man that sucks because right i feel you on that because we like i said we, we, we we've always had like a an, a general idea of how these characters would look when they fuse and all that shit and especially a character like gotenks who we got cucked in gt twice thanks fucking goku twice right and we never saw what that teen gotenks really would look like and now that we're finally going to see it pretty pretty, pretty sure we are it's gonna be like the it's super gonna be version. wrong well see here's the the funny thing is and i i, I did meant i did mention this uh i think either the last week or a week before but geekdom did make a video about how um trunks's hair was always actually supposed to originally be blue but for some reason they ended up changing it to purple and i think it was an error and so i have to find that video again but he did a whole video on this and and you know he you know he is the he is the guy when it comes to everything lore and all that shit right yeah. without question he knows what the fuck he's talking about and he's got sources and all that and he and he included it all in his video that like yeah originally like we all saw trunks on tv with purple hair however apparently in like i don't know if it's it was ads or magazine columns or something like that that was like uh promoting his debut had blue hair i'm still not here for it but yeah but the, but what sucks for us right here's here's where here's where it comes the ups the the frustration comes in for us it's like sure factually that could be true but we fucking grew up with purple trunks purple hair trunks okay even him coming back with blue hair from when super was like why but whatever right what's even worse is that they even have dialogue to even be like oh did he have blue hair I'm like bitch what what do you mean blue he had purple but you know so yeah i don't know i mean ho hey yo what if what if, here here's a say some saving grace for you kai and then we're and then we're out and then we're out okay what if because that trunks had a an experience with his future self and he kind of looked up to himself in that way what if he dyed his hair blue because he's trying <laughs> to be like his future self that's a thought that's a thought because he could very well dye his hair so so because it's not his actual hair color if they do if, you, if they could do gold tanks 
You can still have that purple in there. Okay, that's the saving uh, grace. Uh, I, mean. I appreciate you trying this hard just for me. <laughs> yeah, that's, all, that's all I'm going to say about it. <laughs> yo, we're going to be in that theater, right? Kai is going to be fucking seeing that shit and go take fusion. Huh? I'm going to walk out. No, wait, wait, no. And then you see the purple hair after you see blue trunks to the purple hair. You just see Kai. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the pure happiness like they fucking did it they did it oh man it'd be so good it's not gonna happen we gotta root for the hair dye dude we, gotta, we have to we, we fucking gotta root for have the hair to. dye i can't that's that's one character i'm not trying to, that's another character i'm not trying to see messed up fuck i'm not talking about one character i'm tired of this yeah i am too bro but uh but yeah though that's 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 gonna wrap up this episode guys uh brother you got anything for the people you want to let them know nope <laughs> not really <laughs> <laughs> no 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 stay clean stay none of that no i mean that's the obvious these motherfuckers should know that but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta tell every week, though. <laughs> stay clean stay fresh man okay keep Kai, anything keep, keep the body you know what i mean okay if y'all really on this supercell wave y'all got me fucked up <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, but that's going to be it, guys. Thank you again for tuning in to another episode of the Full Power Podcast. It's been your boys, brother Ooh, Kai, and yours truly. Make sure you guys are liking, sharing, leaving a comment down below so maybe you'll get featured in the next uh, episode when we go over some more comments. And, uh, yeah, stay, sa stay safe, stay clean, stay inside. We'll see y'all next time.